this video I'm going to show you how to stop gun bunch really any coverage one of the best coverage defenses in Madden 24 and this is known as the roll coverage concept I love this specifically out of the nickel 3-3 cub now if you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 cub defensive ebook I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below it's only ten dollars to join the patreon and it'll get you access to all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks so let's get into this and we're talking about roll coverage what you want to do is in your packages here out of the nickel 3-3 formation you want to go to the safety nickelback package by flicking your right joystick to the right until the safety nickelback package comes up you might need to make some substitutions to get the right players back in the right spots as you might need to um, but just feel free to do that again. Um, and, and the audible is already set up for us for what we're going to be using this for. So we're going to be audibling down and we're going to be audibling down into the Tampa two. Now from a coaching adjustments perspective, the only thing that you really need to do is put your zone coverage to match. Everything else can be left pretty much on default. However you want to also, I do like, um, to put ball in our defense to swap ball. I think, I think swats are really good this year. Uh, so that's what I've been rocking right now. So what we're going to do is this is known as the roll coverage. And essentially what we're going to essentially uh, we're going to do is we can roll our safeties into thirds by utilizing that safety nickelback package. So I can take the safety, either safety, and I can put them in outside thirds to really either side on the field. So what this is going to do is going to do a better job of defending corner routes. It's going to do a better job of defending uh, crossing routes, stuff like that. Now, this is also trying to get us a plus one defender to help with any kind of uh, short side passing because short side passing is really effective once again. So um, all I like to do here, I do like to press, but I also like to back off the short side outside cornerback uh, for this coverage defense. You can, back, you can also uh, back off that wide side corner, but you don't really need to with this defense because the way we're going to play it is we are going to basically outside third, the wide side cornerback, okay? Outside third, the wide side cornerback. In this case, it's going to be um, that left side corner. We're then going to middle third, the wide side safety, and we're going to outside third, the short side safety. What this does is we have now created a roll coverage where we are rolling our safeties from the wide side of the field over the top of the short side of the field, okay? Okay. And then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to then just essentially take these linebackers and drop them into hard flats so that we can take away any kind of drags, any kind of short, shallow routes. The vertical hook is really the key defender on this play and someone that you can uh, kind of adapt however you want to. If you want to man that vertical hook up on anybody, you certainly are free to do that. But by uh, putting your zone coverage on match, the vertical hook will actually match some of the problem routes that you might come up against. So let me just show you this basic streak corner flat with the backside check down. And uh, what you're going to see here is by backing that cloud flat off. And also this is, this is two things. Okay. Number one, we back the cloud flat off, but number two, they are running this with their bunch to the short side of the field, which is going to make that cloud flat play a little bit better. All right. We're still showing pressure. So they might block a running back. And once we see that it's this concept, all we got to do is work back to the middle of the field and they actually are still able to get that over the top. You might need to zone drop uh, to get him back there. But generally speaking, uh, this is one of the best ways to, you know, stop this uh, kind of attack. So you have this, this roll coverage concept. Again, if you want to uh, take that linebacker or not linebacker, but that slot corner, you can man him up on the slot. This is another good way to play bunch, honestly, because if you think about it, that slot receiver is going to be on corner routes, crossing routes, stuff like that all game long. So by manning him up, then we're able to take that away. And then as you'll see right here, it creates almost like a bracket within the roll coverage. And you're going to be able to take away the corner route. As you'll see right here, they can't really throw that once we put the man up on him. Um, and really also just once the cloud flat kind of plays like it's supposed to. Now, what's really important about this coverage is understanding that there are rules to playing this coverage defense. And the, one of the best tips I can give you is you want to stick to the rules with this. So when I say we want to roll our safeties from the wide side of the field to the short side of the field, you're going to see why right here. If I was to put this outside cornerback in an outside third, the wide side safety in a middle third, and the short side safety into an outside third, and then again, we can obviously back off if we want to do that. And then we can drop our hard flat zones you're going to see here that now we have a vertical hook. We have, we have uh, only four players in coverage 
um, to to the to the bunch side. Okay, and we have three players in coverage to the short side. So what this is going to do is let's say they try to go with that same exact concept because of the grids that Madden is based on. This corner route is going to get guarded by that outside third defender. It's why we really like to play that outside third to the wide side. However, let's say, and this is actually a combo that a lot of pros are using right now. Let's say you get a combo like this out of the play speed dig, which is also one of my favorite plays uh, in the game. What you're going to notice is when we go with this setup right here, now what we're going to be able to do is the hard flat is going to be able to take that drag route. Our user is going to obviously go back into the middle of the field, but look at how well we play one of the best route combos in the entire game. This is why it's important to stick to the rules of the coverage where we are outside thirding the cornerback that is on the wide side. We are middle thirding the cornerback or the safety that is on the wide side. And then we're outside thirding the safety that is on the short side. And then all I like to do is you can use those linebackers however you want, but I really like just simply hard flatting them. And this way, if they go to a, a concept like speed dig, again, one of the best plays uh, in the game right now, you see I can lurk here, I can pass that off to the cloud, and we're able to stop one of the best plays in the entire game. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, or just get all of my ebooks for that matter, join the Patreon today uh, for just 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that come out while your membership is active. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and uh, click the link down below.